Chapter 8 A Kneeling of Cases When a cartridge is fired, the rapid increase in pressure stretches the cartridge case and hits or hammers the brass against the walls of the chamber. To be able to use that case again, it has to be shrunk somewhat, resized, for it to fit into the chamber and to grip the new bullet firmly. The case is thus stretched and hammered by the firing and reshaped and shrunk by the resizing process. This sequence of stretching and resizing a cartridge case creates stress in the microstructure of the brass. The result of this stress is that the brass becomes work hardened and springy with loss of ductility. The brass now resists resizing. When this hardened case is resized, it springs back to its fired form or size and does not grip the bullet correctly. The result is inaccuracy as one bullet is held firmly whilst the next bullet is almost loose in another case neck. Cases now also have a shortened work life as the hard neck and shoulders crack under pressure. Heating cases can reverse work hardening completely and make brass flexible and able to reform. This process of heating softens the brass and is called annealing. During annealing, the accumulated stress in the microstructure of the brass is cancelled and the brass brought back to its natural condition. Annealing is not difficult to do, but the result could be dangerous if done incorrectly. The transformation of hardened brass to soft and flexible occurs rapidly and completely between 650 and 700 degrees Fahrenheit. More heat will not help and can ultimately destroy the case. Brass will glow a faint orange at around 950 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the brass gets too soft forever and the process cannot be reversed. The damage will be permanent, the case will be unsafe to use and it has to be discarded. This implies that you should never use the annealing technique where the case neck is heated to glow cherry red as it will definitely make the case neck too soft and ruin it forever. The same holds true for the method of holding a case between your fingers until it becomes too hot to hold. During the process, your fingers will lose sensitivity and the control of the process will be poor. It is clear that a proper annealing process should be followed using the correct equipment.